Hi, this is Sandy Adams with Chapter by Chapter. We're encouraging people to read a chapter of their Bible every day. This is episode three of the book of Revelation. We hope you'll read the whole chapter. Don't assume the biblical account of church history ends with the book of Acts. The seven churches in Revelation chapters two and three draw a striking resemblance to the development of the Christian church down through the centuries. Sardis represents mainline Protestantism. The Reformation restored biblical authority, but it also created a dead orthodoxy. The Reformers were men empowered by the Spirit. Today, churches carry their name, but lack their power. Being a Lutheran doesn't guarantee you the devotion of a Luther. Does your church hold to tradition because she's lost the fire? Philadelphia represents the evangelicalism of the last two centuries. When God opens a door for evangelism, He expects His church to have an opportunistic faith. The Philadelphians were weak, but they took the little strength they had and used it for the glory of God. Sadly, the church of Laodicea looks a lot like the modern church. Neither spiritually frozen or on fire, she's room temperature. She takes her cues from the world. But like a warm drink on a hot day, God spews her out of his mouth. Jesus stands at the door of this church and knocks. It seems the church of Laodicea has locked Jesus out of his own church. It's time we rose above the spiritual complacency of our day and became overcomers. Beginning in our hearts, let's give Jesus back his church. Thanks for joining us. If this daily devotion helps you stay in God's word, We hope you'll tell a friend.